Cause of you. Cause of you. It's because you are the end of the day, and I'm not gonna let that shit slide. And I didn't let it slide the first time. So we, if we're gonna bring this back up, first of all, me and Link. If y'all wanna know the real, I told your mother and your sister I was linking with her way before I linked with her. And then my you proceeded to say, baby. okay, you want to link was, with her, go was, ahead. But so this, 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 like this. Da, 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 da. It shouldn't have been right. like, oh, I'm going to listen to what my mama said. I'm going to listen to what his mom It's supposed to be. No, I'm talking about my mama. You shouldn't have My mama ain't got shit to do with it. That's me fucked up. That's because me at the end up. of the day, it's like, if you really, we telling you, don't fuck with her. And you still go do it. That's just like that's just like somebody in YB camp go fuck with dirt. You YB ain't gonna fuck with them no more. You feel what I'm saying? You feel what I'm saying though? You you you're not YB. You fuck with them. Anyways, 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 me going to make content with somebody does not give you the right to Bruh, cross the boundary. Yeah, that but Berlin, you was the one that, that made don't this song first, and you know that. Like, like. That. But y'all was talking shit first. Y'all went live talking shit. I just left the interview. I'm like, oh shit, okay. hold on. Instagram is so on fire started, right now. What's I feel going like on? that's that's when it just really blew up. Okay, but that gave you the right to cross that boundary. You know I mean, exactly about we, we started talking. I mean, it got real deep though, like on some real Did shit it? though, because. You was not because y'all was y'all was talking about deceased people and all kinds. Then so. y'all start talking about who is y'all? I ain't saying. I mean, well, she one was, thing I'm not gonna do that's is how I took it. That's how I took it. Dead people, I'm never going so to do that. So it was like you. That's, 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 but that's what I'm saying though. That's what I'm saying though. If you if you that around don't her shit. and you that don't mean doing shit. videos, that don't mean that's shit. what I'm saying. That clicks in my mind. Oh, she messing with her. So anything she do, she, she messing with. You feel what I'm saying? Like, no, I didn't agree with that when it happened, and I still don't agree with it now. But yet, who? But yet, who gets embarrassed all over social media? Brooklyn and I didn't even say shit. I didn't go live. I didn't do anything. Y'all was y'all two was arguing back and forth. But then I'm the one you cross boundaries on. Make that make sense? That don't make no sense. Can can we have a, a public apology? Think, Miles, look, are you are you man enough look, to do that? Miles, Miles, don't you think we both Miles, we should both apologize. What's are you now, man enough for a public apology? I'm gonna be apology? honest. If Brooklyn, if, 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 if Brooklyn is saying it's true and you only took the anger out only on Brooklyn rather than your own sister and embarrass Brooklyn publicly more than you embarrass anyone, I think a form of an apology should be given to Brooklyn. Then if she chooses to apologize for what she had done on social media regarding towards you she should definitely give you an apology as well if y'all plan on moving forward in this whole entire situation just forms of maturity so troy in brooklyn how do y'all think that we can move forward with this Oh, you want me to go first? I thought that's what you was doing. <laughs> I, 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 I'm sorry. It's the same thing. No, can it be I apologize? Okay, okay, okay. I, I apologize for. This is for, see. This is the little kid shit. I, I'm not going for. But um, taking it that far. Troy, you could have, you could have, you could have kept that shit. You could have kept that bullshit. Okay, Maj. Okay, Maj. You tell me how I'm supposed to apologize. I apologize, Brooklyn. Are you ready, Brooklyn? You know what? From experience and everything that happens on social media, and me taking a look back on everything that happened, I do want to be man enough to say I truly do apologize for my actions and everything that I performed on social media to bash or just you know just the just the smothering your name. I truly do apologize because that was wrong for me to do, 
And moving forward, I do want us to be more friends and, you know, to collaborate and just much more in the future. So I don't even want to look in the past anymore. I'm truly sorry for everything that I have done. You wrote that down. No, I just sometimes, I think, sometimes I fuck up. I be thinking I'll be fucking up, but you know, I just think of certain things to say in my head. All right, all right, all right. Let me try this again. I apologize. I apologize for taking it that far. I shouldn't have done it. It was just stupid of me for me to do that. You know, like, I'm really sorry for for that and you know it's never gonna happen again and this hold the fuck up rewind back the truck up this is not drama class i don't know what the fuck is you trying to put you need to say what you're I'm apologizing got. i'm apologizing i'm trying to i'm trying to you know what i'm saying i'm, I'm making it come from the heart you ain't even look at her in her face all right all right all right hold up hold up let me take my all right, all right, all right. Look, bro, what the fuck? I'm sorry. Is this for crossing the boundaries of the boundaries? Okay, I shouldn't have done it. It went too far. I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have put it all over the internet because I knew. It was going to make you mad. And I shouldn't have done it. I shouldn't have done it. Okay. And that's why I'm saying I'm sorry. Now, I'm trying to say we move past this. Mm. Bro. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Brooklyn, come come a little closer. I'm about to whisper something in your ear. I'm going to whisper. You got a beer with, with him. Okay, there's there's certain things that you have to bear with. Um, I know that you think that he is playing, but I think that deep down in his conscience that he is serious, and I think that that was a real apology. I think some people like him, you have to um, bear with, if you get what I'm saying. Brooklyn, you think it was, it was a real apology? Bro, that was a real apology. No, so true, does he I know you. act like this off? the cameras or is it just when it's rolling i don't I never, never met you want to laugh so bad she want to laugh so bad oh when it's rolling okay okay when it's rolling so it's just I'm this, keep, this is him keep it real. in the cameras yeah so yeah, troy why can't you be the real troy like the troy boy Boy. So Brooklyn, you don't want to give him an apology only because you feel like that. Um, I don't think this guy went as far as him and his family went, but I can say. That I could apologize for, for not believing you. Hold on. I could apologize for not believing oh, you. This is getting good. I know what this about is about. Money. Are you talking? And I'm not, I'm not on here to bash nobody. I've had great times with Yanni. That was my dog. Like, when I tell y'all, I had her at my house to Michigan around my family. This was my friend. Like, we did everything together with each other every single day. But some people just fall out over shit. And, and that's just that. And I will tell y'all. Distance myself from her just over the situation in my room. I've been was feeling some type of way about a few other things, but then we had a conversation about it, and that's when we parted ways. Um, but I, 
I definitely should have paid attention to to the red flags when I did see them. I should have paid attention to them. <laughs> but but yeah, and I'm not all here to bash Yanni. I still I still love her. Like like deep down, I still love her. Like I don't need to bash her for nothing. But what I will say is my feelings were hurt when I heard the story about what had happened in my room, and she knows my feelings were hurt because when when it had came out at first, I didn't like. I didn't fight her or I didn't, you know what I'm saying? Like, I I didn't do all that. Like, I actually cared for her and loved her. And she still was with me every single day so after I found out that shit happened. Right the house when she was there, you weren't. Some, someone said, that, what was said about you in the Raider R house when she was there and you weren't? And you had found out. Hmm. But what was brought Keyword, I wasn't there. So I don't know exactly what was said. But I heard I heard that it was like it was, it was really dumb shit for real. Okay. But the whole the messy mod live before you gotta about what the fuck is going on here. I'm having a conversation. Would you like to join? Now y'all see, y'all see, I just sat on here and no, told y'all that man. I love this girl. Because really Troy, my question is, what did you go back and tell Yanni? I mean, what did you go back and tell Brooklyn before, I guess, like, her and Yanni even fell out? Yeah. What I tell Brooklyn? Yeah. yeah, you, Brooklyn says she apologized because she didn't believe what you had, te what you had told her. What was it that you told her? Oh, when they, when they fell out... I mean, no, when we fell out, we the whole reason we was just telling her like watch out, like you know what I'm saying? Like they basically was just saying, watch out, you gonna see um she's not who you think she is, this and that. But what I will say is I'm I'm so real that I'm not finna not like somebody based off what somebody else says. But that could also be naive too. I'm gonna see that for myself. So, I feel if, like if I feel like if you took it into consideration and then see for this, yourself, then that's a whole different story. But you just, oh, I ain't gonna listen. I ain't gonna listen. <laughs> okay, okay, but you can't control what I do, and I chose to be friends with her, and I gained a great friend from it. But yeah, at the end of the day, you, shit just didn't happen to work out, and I learned from myself. People are in your life for a re for a, a reason, and they're there for a season. They're not going to be in your life forever. People going to show up, and God going to show you a lesson, and then they going to leave. And then another person going to come in, and it's going to happen. It's going to keep continuing to happen. Hold up. Now, now let me, let me ask this That's really quick, right? Now, I know you said that, that you love her. I, I know you said that you loved her, but my question is, how can you fully love someone when they did some sick stuff like that allegedly? And you know what I'm talking about. I think the live know what I'm talking about. Because when you genuinely have love for somebody, you can't, as soon as something happens, you snap your fingers and all that love just go away. That shit don't happen. When you're in a toxic relationship mm. and you finally break up with them, you still love that person. Mm. So you, you always gonna have love for her. Loving but somebody just because of something they did. Yes, I'm always gonna have love for Yanni because that was truly my friend. I did not. I mm. I didn't enter that friendship on anything yeah, malicious. And, that was and, and things my like friend. that can honestly be, you know, heartbreaking to you only because. If a situation like with your best friend and your ex, that's crazy as fuck. Let's start off by saying that. Yeah, and, and I'm not the only person that it, it, it has happened to before. So for all the people that that has gone through that, I feel like when people be speaking on it, I feel what y'all was talking about. And till this day, Till this day, I don't know what the truth is because I wasn't in the room. So y'all can't even ask me anything about that situation because I physically wasn't in the room. I didn't see anything with my eyes. So 
Y'all can believe whatever side of the story y'all want to believe because it's always going to be two sides of a story. You just got to choose which one you want to believe. Well, and I chose not to believe Brooklyn, neither. with that being said, I think we should introduce Yanni up here. <laughs> she added and up. Oh, she, Yanni, they said that you said that you want to be added. Lord. This is a strong. There she goes. There she goes. What's going on? I feel like, like you have bitten your tongue for too long, and I feel as though we should hear your side. You dodged this, and I, I honestly feel like it's that time. Listen, you gonna let off the NDA? Cause, whoa, now you an NDA is being, yeah. I'm good. Okay, that was something. That you, should, I, should I talk about the NDA first? Because, because. Because people people making it seem like I just made her sign an NDA because I did a whole bunch of shit and I don't want the world. You made to her know. sign an NDA because you knew it, you was getting into knows. it. That okay, I, I I put my right. Okay, so I don't want okay, to okay. hear shit about it. I didn't take shit into consideration. Yeah, sit down. Next. Anyway, I made her sign an NDA. When she, it was the sec, actually, it was the second day she was at my house. She spent the night at my house on February something. It was February something, because it was going to be Valentine's Day or something like that. She stayed the night. The next day when we woke up, I made her sign an NDA because my mom was on the phone with my publicist talking business. Ain't no way I'm having someone I just, I just welcome into my home listening to business calls listening to should i have to do no because that's that's where we're gonna we're gonna cut that out you're gonna sign the nda because no it's too much business too much money we talking too much shit we talk about in this house so for it to like get out. <coughs> if y'all didn't want me if she <coughs> shit i'm sick i'm sorry y'all if she wanted me to sign the nda i most definitely would have signed one for her she could have handed me the paper or sent me the link for the NDA okay. and I most definitely would have signed one because I know what it's for. Now would she you got, ever use it against her if she, she did busy, want to speak busy. her truth whereas though she you know everyone heard just side of the situation but they can't fully hear hers only because the NDA is involved with her situation. So if she got on live to speak her side would you think that you or your mom would use that against her in future reference? If she speaks her side, what I'm gonna use against her if she wanna, if she wanna don't go too far. If she wanna talk her, pop her shit, mm. pop it. Pop your shit. So if for you, the you wanna say what happened, then say what happened. But don't have me in that shit. Don't, don't, don't come out with the oh I signed the NDA so I can't speak on the situation. No. That situation didn't have nothing to do with me. It had something to do with you and my ex. Y'all already went back and forth on social media, posting subliminals, doing this, doing that. Continue to do it if that's what y'all want to do. But I wasn't in that. So go ahead and mm. talk about now, it. Now, I honestly wanted it Yanni to come to up here. The people that told me that she wanted to get up here. For the person, that, for the people that don't know, don't, that don't know what an NDA is, um, it's basically a contract stating, it's like something more, of, is it more so of a relationship almost? Whereas though you're not allowed to say certain things if you know Okay. It's a it's a non disclosure agreement. Basically anything we talk about and and I I gave it to her business wise. Anything we talk about you can't go and 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 try to tell it out and, and use it against me or you get what I'm saying? Like you can't go and tell all my mm. business, like my shit that I have going on with my labels. Like you can't do that because that's real, real business that you're putting oh. yourself into that you don't need to be into. You get what I'm saying? Ain't telling it, which I don't feel like she would come out and tell my my <laughs> label business. Like, about I don't, so far, I don't think like she would the allegations because I've been around her, her name, the, the situation between you and her and et cetera. I mean, she can, okay. she, she that's, can talk that's, about it. Right. I don't care what they talk about. They did that shit. They did whatever happened, okay. happened. They did that shit between them two. I didn't have nothing to do with that. 
So if she want to talk about it, if he want to talk about it, y'all can talk about it. Have a whole fucking meeting. I don't care. That's facts. But oh, I wasn't Troy, there. Hold up, Brooklyn. On it. Say hey to your best friend, Desh you know, Deshay. I know that you was... Little man in the chat. Little and, man in the chat. And, and Brooklyn, I, I honestly feel as though that you and Yanni should do a sit-down talk. I feel as though that it honestly would be more of a moving forward type of thing. And I felt like y'all honestly were truly best friends. She was always there for you. You was always there for her. And I honestly feel as though that it could be a moving forward type of situation with you guys. I don't really feel like it was something that would end your friendship to the core. You get what I'm saying? I think that is a little bit hope still there. What I will say is, right right now, it's just too much going on in my mind, and my heart is hurt, and I don't want to have a sit-down conversation, and it leads to something worse. If once, once I feel like I'm healed from the situation, then maybe that, that can happen, but it was other things. Like everybody's on on social media making it seem like I just stopped fucking with Yanni and we stopped fucking with each other over the whole thing mm. with my ex. It was more shit too. Did you put that out there or you didn't? It was more shit to it. This is my first time speaking oh, on anything. It's on this live. Oh, well, I never I spoke feel, on anything besides oh, shit, I feel this. I'm a little song. honored. Okay, I, <laughs> I do. So you can feel uh, real. You get real exclusive okay. shit because I never spoke on it ever, and and I could have sat up here. I could have made a YouTube video, made some money off of it, did it that. But it's real feelings involved, y'all. When real feelings are involved, just like the hot seat I was gonna drop on Chris Debo and them, real feelings were involved. So I can't sit there and make a YouTube. video video okay. just to make some money so you, when i'm so, hurt in a situation like i'm not gonna do that and and if i love somebody i love you too bama if i love someone i'm not, not i'm not gonna do that i'm not gonna go on and make a, a, a there, hot seat and bash you i'm not no that's just not the type of person i am because if i genuinely have love for you i'm not going to do that that little diss track shit okay it was in a moment because that's when everything was posted on the T pages. Everything was posted. And it's like, okay, at some point, I got to let something off my chest. And I'm an artist at the end of the day. I'm going to say what I got to say through my music. And if y'all don't like it, fuck you. And if you do, I love you. But at the end of the day, I'm going to do what I feel like is right for me to get my feelings through, for me to cope with how I and feel. You know, about I always have to and be nobody real. can be mad. So at would, you, would you give her an apology for that? Yeah. <laughs> but, For the but track? let no. me say this, though. I mean, everything I can him say. Right here, gave you an apology, right, because of everything he put on social media to bash and shame you and et cetera. But I think what the people are saying is that you, but I'm going to say I made him give you an apology, which you thought that was right for him to give you an apology as well. Do you think that it would be only right for you to give an apology to Yanni only because you didn't do anything that was so different from what Troy did to you? Mm. I, okay. I didn't expose her. Let's start there. If it was shit said and you want to claim that as exposing, okay. But I never posted no fucking picture of Yanni, not nothing like that. Because I'm not that type of person. Mm. I'm never going to do that to anybody. Oh, I, oh. Especially now knowing how mm. that shit feels. Never going to do that. Apologizing mm. right now? Mm. No, I'm not going to apologize. Because I meant everything in there. I, I st I'm always going to stand on what I say. It's never capping my rap. I'm never going to cap my rap. I'm always going to stand on what I say. Maybe in the future she mm. might get a... Mm. No. She stood, she stood I'm not on apologizing that. for that something I meant to do. Stuff. Cause some fold up, but you stood on that. You said, "Fuck these comments. Fuck what people got to think." 
you stood on your motherfucking answer and I I respect it. I really do, but I you know, I just don't know what the hell is making Yanni bite her tongue so much. Like, I'm sorry, I'm a fighter, so I'm gonna have to fight you back with a couple words or something. But I, it's 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 just a no for me. I'm like what could like what what do you possibly have to say? You came here, you said what the hell is going on? You're hearing what's going on. Is it anything, Yanni, that you have to say in the comments or anything that you feel like the people should hear if you don't feel comfortable coming up here? I know that it could be a lot of pressure on you. That's the N NDA. I don't think, y'all, I don't think it's... <laughs> I don't think it's that. Brooklyn gave her the okay to come up here and to express how she felt. The allegations that, that was slandered on her name should be woke up on. And that's a that's a hard situation when you're getting accused of doing something with your best friend's ex. Troy, do mm -hmm. And my thing is, if it didn't happen, mm. come up here and say that. They said they happen. said they got these with Deshay. Add Deshay. Oh God, really, really, say it again. Brooklyn, Brooklyn, say it again. He ain't got shit to do with it. What he got to do with it? Fuck little man. The reason why they're saying add him is because Yanni's in the same car with the shade. Yeah, and I left, but the shade's still watching me. Okay, she got a phone. What's... Are you okay mentally? The Shay Hill. Oh, oh, you're saying that this is the Shay. Mm -hmm. He right here. Oh, well, I, I think Jay Cinco, Jay Cinco said, "Nah, don't add the Shay. He stole Troy content." Hey, he a real nigga. Oh, he a real nigga. Okay, well, we we lost Brooklyn. I think Brooklyn had enough. Um, I don't think Yanni has anything she wants to say. I really want to hear from Yanni. I've been wanting to hear from her for a while. <laughs> Um, but, but Troy, how do you feel about the whole Yanni situation? Uh, what's your intake on all of it? Um, I don't know, man. I feel like, I feel like everybody did some wrong and stuff, but you know, like, oh, Brooklyn. at the end of the day, man, I don't know, bro. It's just too much. It's just too much, bro. It's just too much back door. You feel me? Like, every minute. Like, damn, nigga don't get a break. Brooklyn, are you getting a request? Hold up. Let me... I don't know what's wrong with Instagram. You got to go through the views and you got to add them like that. Okay, there you go. Yeah, so you just feel like there's a lot of back door going. But you back door, you, you can't say nothing about back door. You back door. How, wait, how did I back door Brooklyn? She trusted you with something that only you had and you exposed it to the whole social media platform that you had. Technically, that's violating. Major. Well, I, major. I got backdoor first. I got no, backdoor first. I'm going to go backwards because you did apologize. Uh, yeah, We're gonna, I did apologize. We're only going to move forward. Yeah. And I, I, just, Brooklyn, I don't think Yanni is ready to talk. Um, I think that she's really, really worried about that NDA. Anything you tell her, she may feel like, you know, all right, et cetera. She said it's okay to talk, but I still don't even want to. And maybe the is telling her not to in that car. So who the fuck gives Little a man. fuck about what the Shay has to say? Mm. How is Little he relevant to this up. situation? He don't have shit to do with any of any of what's going on. Yeah, the people only brought his name up only because he's in the car with her and they felt like he could get up here, but I don't know. She's not on here, but she's definitely watching. They always leave, but they are definitely watching, bitch. I'm telling you, I do it my damn self. I will leave off the main page and watch on the fake one. She's definitely in this bitch watching. I'm not going to be no fake-ass motherfucker. Yanni, girl, you, you know I'm going to keep it a bug. I ain't going to bite my tongue. If you don't get the fuck up on this live, these, I'm going to just say these supporters that the game, they, oh, damn. What the fuck is going on? They saying that Oh my God! Now I don't know Brooklyn. Oh my God! This is a lot. They saying what? Hold, hold up! They tried to film with Ari. Oh my God! It's T being sent to me. They saying that the shade done unfollow Uda. It's B 
beef getting dropped. What the fuck? I wouldn't be surprised if you unfollowed J Cinco next. No. But what is going on? The Shay Tinder dick. He's so tender dick. Oh my mama, cuz probably cuz he did videos with Yanni. That's probably why he um, acting like that. Oh my god. Okay, well, Yanni, girl, I think you should come up here and you know just clear up some allegations of this friend. Wooda, he tender dick like a motherfucker, boy. So what happened with you in Brooklyn Frost? Brooklyn, they wanted to know about that. I'm seeing a lot of questions in the question box about that. They're saying what happened with you and her. I didn't know that anything happened. What happened? I don't know. I'm just seeing a lot of people in the comments ask that. that nothing happened. Oh, okay. I got unfollowed, so I unfollowed back. Oh, you got unfollowed. Yeah. Oh wow, that. Then nothing happened. The boy said, yeah. Bitch, "I'm lost. What happened? I don't... Let me know." Shit, yeah, I, I was. Know what the hell happened my then you know let me say a lot of things that be addressed to me i just now figure some of these things out because i'll be so busy that sometimes i don't be knowing everything but yeah oh yeah they said y'all unfollowed each other i get a whole bunch of text messages my number been leaked so many times so everybody has my number so yeah i, I don't know i just i really wanted to hear yanni's side and said that she don't want to come here and speak but it's definitely not for to come on here with troy on here i'll tell you that oh that's why she may not want to get up here I'll tell you that. She's not going to come on here while he right here. Let me see. Maybe I could text her. Let me see. Maybe I could call her, text her, or something. I do have her on Instagram. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see if we can get a call. I think she got her calls off for Instagram. Unless she put it back on. Oh, she has her calls off? No, it's... But if they if she's if they say she's watching, she can hear you. Text them back, Yanni. Yanni, are you there? Answer if you can hear me. Something. It's it's ringing. No. Maybe I can get a. Bro, Cinco is hilarious. It's oh bro. God. <laughs> No way. I knew he was going to follow him. I knew it. Yo, I knew follow Cinco. Why he being like that? This a mean ass midget. Hold up. I know I can. Damn. Hold up. Watch me work my magic real quick. Um, Because he needs this. Oh, wow. Yanni, come home, to t come home on Tuesday. What? Who the what? What the hell is you saying? <laughs> <laughs> Brooke, you not doing so <laughs> if I don't follow them, it's it, like it don't pop up. The dwarf so tin. Why is everybody trolling um the shade? The, the dwarf is so tender. Oh god. <laughs> we talking about the, the, Jason, we talking about the tender dick midget. Oh shit. Yeah, I wanna know how this Oh, I ain't gonna say nothing. I don't wanna wish no bad on nobody. I'm trying to get in contact with Yanni. Um, I'm trying to get that phone number so we we can get in contact. Yanni, what's going on, sis? What you scared? I'm gonna have to start being honest. I'm scared of Brooklyn to face her. To just simply have a conversation. It doesn't have to be no arguing. If he's talking about when Lena. The shade linked. What? I th think him and my ex did the did the do. Plot twist what? for your ass. <laughs> Plot twist for your ass. I'm so oh, I'm so lost. What the fuck is going on? It it went from y'all to Yanni got involved. The shade is getting trolled on by Buddha and Jay Cinco, and then not only them two, but you as well. <laughs> In Brooklyn is just it's like, what the fuck is going on? Yanni don't want to get up on the live because she can't probably take what Brooklyn has to say. Exactly. Not only that, she may be a little scared, just a little bit of you, Troy. What the fuck is going on? Man. Where I'm from, I'm going to speak my mind and ain't nobody going to make me bite my tongue. That's just that. But I don't understand what the fuck is the problem. If she know that it ain't true, 
man, you got to think about it like this. This girl, girl them went from me, Brooklyn, to Shay. Who else? You're, you're saying she's an opportunist. <laughs> a clout. I'm saying that there's got to be a problem. <laughs> Brooklyn, do you agree with that? What? That she may be the issue in all of the relationships that she formed with certain influencers or people in whole? I can't speak on nobody else. But, I mean. I don't. I, y'all always like to say, y'all always like to say, uh, what they, they be saying? Maybe she's doing this so that she can get um, victim points. Hit the boys Look <laughs> as the victim in the situation. Maybe that's her tactic. Hey, it's oh. working. Well, let me. Oh. Like a, I'm a victim. What the fuck? My heart. No, really, she got a cult fan base, dog. Who? Yanni. Oh, oh God, she do. Nigga said in Yanni we trust. I ain't never seen no shit like that. Give me one second now. Think I I'm gonna pee on myself. <laughs> they said, ask the shade why he keep leaving and joining. Don't tell me that they scared of y'all too. We're not y'all. But oh, we no, no, he's scared. He's scared. He's scared. Okay, now I do have Yanni's number. Let's try giving her a call. I shouldn't have said that I was giving her a call because she may be watching me. I should know who number calling. <laughs> How the fuck did he get my number? Maybe then let's call him times. I get everything. Yanni's scared. <laughs> Nigga Yanni. said, let us rock out, Unc. Oh, God. Yanni is scared. Let us what do our thing, Unc. Yanni, come on, girl. Pick, pick this phone up. Let me see. I'm about to be like, you see us calling. Let me see. Don't say us. You see you calling. Oh, when I say us, it's Messy Mods production. <laughs> see. Uh, so I'm going to say Messy Mods production. Messy Mods production. Calling. This is the hotline. The Shay watching a lot too. Well, the Shay, I don't think the Shay wants to come up here. But you know, I'm gonna give Brooklyn a break, break for a little bit. Hold up, let me see how this is gonna go. I think you should just enjoy the show. I think it's enough to see the girls, you know, argue and get their point across. But I think maybe the boys should come up here and talk like grown men. Just sit back and enjoy the show. Let me go. I will be watching. Yeah, let's let's just. Let's just see how this is going to go. You see me adding you. Oh, wait, I got to follow you on Instagram. Hold up. Because it's not, I don't know why I don't let me add y'all th during the damn job. I'm seeing a lot of boys talking they ish. Let's just see if they're going to keep the same energy up on live. Oh, yeah. And my dogs. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> oh, we've been a chose bad. We've been a chose bad. I just. Oh God, uh, add them niggas. She definitely, in the, niggas. She definitely in the blinds. Add <laughs> them the niggas. Back so I can see your comments. I can't see your comments only because we don't follow each other. And you not get my request because it's not at <laughs> I tried to add Jay Cinco, it's not working. I just feel like like, I, you know, I, let me say this about the girl influencers. They don't bite their tongue, and they definitely get out in the field. I haven't really seen that much from um, the niggas. They, they said, too weird, said, why Jay unfollow him? Oh, my God. This the unfollowing party? What the fuck is going on? Hey, Wooda. I'm trying. Wooda got to. There he go. There he Let's go. There he go. Let's walk and woo to himself. <laughs> uh. 
Yeah, Are you here with <laughs> What's going on? Huh? What's going on? <laughs> that boy right. getting hey. My shit on some weird shit. Hold up. So said add him too. Who? Damn. Okay. The whole gang in this bro, bitch. I don't know why. Why the door mad, bro? It's why like, the door mad? I don't like. I don't understand. Why the door mad? <laughs> oh yeah. Why Nigga the door mad? Hey, hey, water, bro. Stop. Hey, you keep on dissing on the shade, bro. We gonna have smoke, bro. <laughs> right, we homies, bro. We gonna have. Smoke.